Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Brother against brother. Father against son. Houses divided. Families divided. It's the Iron Bowl. Alabama and Auburn. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. folks it's the iron bowl the annual battle for bragging rights in the state of alabama it's time for the coin toss now presented by coke zero real coke taste zero calories enjoy everything alabama tees up as we get ready for the opening kickoff Thomas fields it at the three, at the 30, brought down to the 37-yard line. Ready to take the field in their final home game in their career. And the final games always have an extra emotional element in them. We'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Here's an opening makes it to the 47. The Tigers have a lot at stake here, including some possible record-breaking performances. Records and stats are great, but I think to a man, these players say, let's win the game first, and then any accolades we get along with it, that'd be great. From their own 47-yard line, first down. Steps out of bounds at about the 49. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. Fires out to his wideouts. He's knocked out of bounds at the 44. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. He unloads it. Quick pass. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. The ball changes hands on the punt. Nice opening stand by the defense. I'm sure the fans are thrilled to see their guys come up with an early stop in this game. Let's see if the offense can give them something else to get excited about now. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. Ready! Red! 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 And he's tackled after positive yardage. Wright gets about four yards on the play. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Brought 
down after a nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. Strike to his receiver, no good. Great hands there by the wide receiver. Unfortunately for him, he couldn't get a foot down in bounds. They're about four yards away here on third down. Tackle at the 46 yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a run route. Good protection and a well placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Here's the eighth play of the series. Here's a run. Brought down right around the 38 yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Ready! Check, check! Tiger! Tiger! Gets it out to him again. He's pushed out of bounds at the 21-yard line. And with that catch, his yardage receiving pushes past the 1,000-yard mark. Just a tremendous accomplishment. He should be proud because he's put in a lot to get here. Not everyone's willing to go the extra distance to better themselves. And this is the 10th play of the drive. it in as he's pushed out of bounds. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. From the 11-yard line, first down. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, y'all. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Here we go! Grabs it and hammered right there. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Ready! Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown! catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. And he hits the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Cougars enter today's game ranked fourth in the country and hoping an impressive victory would move them up in the poll. The Cougars deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. And for Franklin, he's caught one for a touchdown. Houston has the edge, 14-0, late in the first quarter. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Malone is lined up to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. Alabama's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. Tackle made at the 48-yard line. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. Oh. Hey, hey. 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Nice run there. Todd picks up about seven yards on the run. That'll bring up second and three. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. And down he goes at the 43. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. 7-0, Crimson Tide. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Well, that's one of those plays where the wide receiver is expected to make something happen after the reception, but the defense wasn't giving up anything. Now, now, he'd like to change field position with his punt. Short kick. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Alabama up seven points. Here we go! Ooh, 80. Ooh. And he's taken down at the 33. From their own 33-yard line, it's first down. On the ground, up the middle. Nice run there as they work the outside. The halfback picks up maybe five yards on the draw play. That brings him second and five. They need to get it inside the 46. Ready, green in the He wants it all. Can't connect. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Alabama is up a score. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Short over the middle, and he's hit immediately, and they'll lose a yard there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 35. Here comes the pressure, and he is drilled at the 30-yard line. That makes it third and 15. It's third down and 15 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. 
One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. He wants it all going long. The defender had it and then dropped it. Number 18 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings us to open 15. Butler will be the return man. Butler fields it at the 35. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Alabama is up by a touchdown. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. Two yards shy of the sticks. Here we go. He's taken down right around the 30. He's under pressure. He passes it. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Deep ball, laying it out there. And he will score. Splits the uprights with the extra point. So that's a six-play, 57-yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Gathered in at the six. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 48. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's... First of all, clipping. Receiving team. That one will put the offense Still in a first. hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Makes the catch, and look out. They'll bring him down at about the 41. That's a big gain there for the offense, and all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. From their own 41-yard line, first down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. First down. Got it and brought down immediately. Gaither gains four yards on that reception. Auburn's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 42-yard line, second down. They bring the quarterback down. He 
zips it out to the right. Incomplete. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Butler fields it at the 17, and he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Alabama's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. And, Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull in this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. Up the middle. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Right. Gets six yards on the play. Alabama will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's under some heat. And he's immediately tackled. Four-yard gain, and that'll be a first down. Show here, quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. They come out on an empty backfield. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And for Towns, he now has 60 catches on the year. He's become one of the go-to guys in this offense. And when you see him out there, there's no wonder why. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He heaves it deep. No, incomplete. So at the end of the half, Alabama leads it 14-0. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Keith Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. David, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there just loving this game. I mean, these two teams are spinning the magic bead all <laughs> over the yard. Big numbers on offense pitch and catch, run after the catch, all the offense is working. Yeah, I, there's nothing to talk about defensively, but if offensively, if you want to start talking about it, I mean, everything that you're doing is right. And to be able to throw it deep, to be able to throw it short, to be able to make the defense honor every part of the field, the offenses are really in rhythm. They're really in a groove. And this is one of those games that you, you see a lot on the West Coast. I mean, it's just, it's, it seems like there's not a lot of defense, but the offenses know what they want to do and how they want to do it. And the scoreboard just goes doo -doo 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 -doo. just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We've got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? Yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He'll return it. Tackle at the 33-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 34. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That makes it third and three. Gets out to around the 48. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 48. And he 
he's tackled at the 49. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Brought down right around the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. And for Wright, he may have been seriously injured on that play. four-yard line. First down. Up the middle for a nice game. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. First and ten, ball on the eleven. Flips it middle to the running back, and they make the stop right around the four yard line. It's the eleventh play of the drive. him over the 1,000 mark for rushing yards this year. Anytime a back has a year like this, it sure opens some eyes. And let me tell you, he's earned every one of those yards. He makes the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and reset. Time to check out what's going on in Stillwater. And for Oklahoma State, they can become bowl eligible with a win here today. All locked up, two touchdowns apiece. All right, Reese, back to our game. Everyone's all and ready for the kickoff. Fielded at the four. And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. Alabama's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle made around the 23-yard line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Screen to the receiver, nothing doing. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. He passes it. And it's incomplete. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. Dowdell is waiting for the snap. Yeah. 
Brought down at the 50. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Caught open field, and he tackles him hard at the 25. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From the 25-yard line, first down. for a loss. Well, I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. Maybe it's time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter. 21 to nothing, Crimson Tide. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Here we go. Green 19. Green 19. <laughs> Down he goes at about the 25-yard line. That brings up third and ten. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Ready, green nine. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. That'll make it fourth and ten. He launches one for the end zone. Incomplete. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. He's under pressure. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle at the 33. Summers makes the tackle at the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And he's taken down at the 36. Summers makes the tackle at the 36-yard line. First down. Congrats, right left, right left. Four down, four down. Mike 18, Mike 18. Oh, 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 oh. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Thomas is intended to see the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 36 yard line, it's second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. And he throws it away. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Ready. 
It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. A okay. there could have really helped him, but it just wasn't to be. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Heading for the... That's a great tackle at the 31-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Just over two minutes in the game. He's tackled at the 29. Short of the line of scrimmage. That'll make it 39. Five wide. Ready! Red 68! Red 68! Complete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. He heaves it to the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown. Crimson Tide. the uprights with the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Time to get you up to date from Stillwater. And for Oklahoma State, they're now bowl eligible after today's win. The Cowboys win it 17-14. In other games, the Cougars had a spot in the top four. They're hoping for so much more after a brilliant performance. And for Houston, an 11-win season. Only the top-shelf programs reach that mark. The Cougars win it big. A 28-0 shutout right now here, Reese. They line up to kick this one away. Gaither from the seven. Whoa, he just took a licking. Auburn's coaches have got to be scratching their heads right now. They know they have to go back to work and go back to work in a hurry. Well, the coaches are going to want to go back to work, and the players are not going to want to show up in the film room. They're going to be hiding after this performance. This was embarrassing. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Gets it out quickly. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. Auburn will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. He's pushed out of bounds at the 45-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Go down, go down. 
He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. For Kirk and Aaron, I think I can say we're glad this one's over. 28 to nothing, Alabama. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? Well, this rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment on the other. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this date marked in red on their calendar for next year. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.